this recording, I'm going to show you how to clean up these two complex roofs. And because of how they're built, we can't use the Join Geometry tool, nor can we use the Roof Join tool. And you can see we've got a couple things going on. Um, the first thing is we're actually offset here from the other roof, and this is supposed to look like a smooth transition, so it's supposed to be in line with the other roof. So the first thing we need to do is fix that. So I'm going to switch to the roof plan and I've cut a section through here because from the section I can just move that piece down. So if you select it and then just use your move tool, so don't nudge it, don't eyeball it, accurately move it from point to point. And then we'll go back to our 3D view and you can see that it, it looks pretty good until you select the roof. And then you can see that I'm still overlapping on a lot of this which I don't want to happen. So to fix that, we're going to create a vertical opening within the roof. For that, I'm going to switch back to my roof plan. And on the architecture or home tab, depending on which um, version of Revit you're using, you want to create a vertical opening. So not a shaft, but a vertical opening. And then we'll pick the part that we want to cut. And then from here, we're just going to draw the boundaries to outline the part that we want to get rid of. I'm going to use my pick tool. You can use pick or draw, whichever you're more comfortable with. And then just pick, you know, the lines that I need to run from, basically, the ones that are going to define the boundaries of this. And I know this looks like kind of a mess right now, um, but we'll just trim it up and then we'll go around until we have a closed boundary. And we'll end up with this kind of wedge-ish shape that we want to get rid of. So I'll go ahead and finish. And let's switch to our 3D view. And now everything is all nice and tidy.